And this is proof that you don't have to get too close. I'm taking this right from my car. Hayden Valley is just one of the top places in all of Yellowstone National Park to see wildlife. So we just wanted to share with you some of the tips that we really gleaned from our trip to Yellowstone National Park to maybe help you maximize your time and your experience there. First, we stayed in Canyon Village, which was an ideal location within the National Park. And Hayden Valley is just about a 15 minute drive or less. So we could hit it every evening and every morning on our way out to do different activities. And this will give you plenty of opportunities to see the wildlife and we'll share with you some of our tips for doing that along the way as well. All of the research you do on the park will tell you that the best way to see the wildlife is going to be in the early mornings and early evenings. We did find that to be the case as well. But one thing we wanted to share is as you're driving into Hayden Valley, do pay attention to the different pullovers that you can see nice views because a lot of the wildlife was there just as you were even entering into Hayden Valley, including this mama and her beautiful cubs. And it was just an incredible experience to take in. And we saw this big fella several of the evenings that we were out just doing our evening drives trying to take in wildlife. And I will tell you just to drive slowly and these animals are much bigger than you realize, especially when you get up on one with a car. So do drive slowly and uh, take this uh, beautiful landscape in. Try to do a pullover and do one of the sunsets. We loved that. And then of course, uh, I thought the biggest highlight for Hayden Valley was just going out very early uh, at sunrise because the bison were out early. The beautiful fog was coming up over the valley itself, which just added to it. And uh, you could get fairly close to the animals at a safe distance. You'll see up here in a minute that I am uh, out in the field, but I'm pretty far away and I'm very close to the car. So I made sure of that, but you just stood still and they would walk on by you uh, very peacefully. You just let them have their route. Uh, I also want to mention that as you're driving through there, they do have the right of way. So give them all the space you need when you're driving through there. Unfortunately, we saw a few people that were kind of speeding around them and uh, the park rangers told us that's a big no, no. So do be careful while you're driving through there and take the time. I don't know why you'd be in a hurry when you're there to see the wildlife anyway, but it was just an incredible moment with these animals and uh, just keep a safe distance and enjoy them. You'll see right here how closely they would walk on by while you're just standing still. It was amazing.
We wanted to share with you also this great picnic area that we found on the way into Hayden Valley, right on the Yellowstone River. So if you were headed south from Canyon Village, this would be on your left-hand side, and it had amazing views, great picnic tables, and all the things that you would need to stop off for a break uh, in the action with whatever you were doing. And then on our third try, we were finally successful going through Hayden Valley and seeing a couple of wolves. But I'll tell you, they're hard to spot, so pay attention. This is why you drive slow. And of course, this one was up near the tree line, which is you know, more difficult to spot. So uh, pay attention when you see people pulling over, that's probably what they've seen as well. Well, the, the last thing I wanted to share was that Mud Volcano and Dragon's Mouth are two features that are just as you're leaving Hayden Valley, right on the right-hand side as you're going south. And they are definitely some features that you want to take in. They're definitely worth the stop and uh, taking in the views. We hope these tips help you maximize your time at Hayden Valley. And if you have any questions at all about the planning that you're doing, please, down in the comments, don't hesitate to ask us anything. We'll be glad to help you any way we can. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up down below. And more importantly, we would love it if you subscribed to our channel and came along with us on all of these adventures. And until next time, get out there and camp, travel, and explore.